Hey friends, today I'll be demonstrating how I set up and got my LetPot LPH Max 21 hydroponic system running. Step 1. Attach the light hood to the base. The light hood comes with a telescopic support, and on one end of this support, there's a socket that needs to be plugged into the corresponding socket in the base. Ensure that the support is securely inserted into the socket and not loosely connected. It's crucial to avoid connecting the device to electricity during this setup process. Step 2. Fill the bowl with water. Please pour 7.5 liters of water into a bowl. You have the option to use either bottled or tap water. Ensure that the pH of the water is within the appropriate range. The ideal pH level is between 5.5 and 6.5. You can use a pH meter to measure the pH of the water. There are commercially available powders that can adjust the pH of the water if needed. Step 3. Add plant food as the plant food is in solid form, it needs to be diluted in water before use. Fill each bottle almost to the top with water and give it a gentle shake. Allow the bottles to sit for a few minutes, and then shake them again until the solid granules are completely dissolved. Next, add 35 milliliters of plant food from both bottles A and B. Mix the plant food and water thoroughly in a bowl. Step 4. Place the seed pods inside. Put two to three seeds in each growing sponge. Afterward, insert the sponges into the baskets and affix the stickers that are included in the kit to the top. Next, position the seed pods into the openings of the growing deck. Although there are 21 holes available, it's recommended to grow up to 10 plants in this space for best results. Cover the seed pods with the provided grow domes. This will hasten the germination process of the seeds. Once you notice the seeds starting to sprout, you can remove the grow domes. Step 5. Set up the system. Insert the plug from the power adapter into the socket located at the back of the bowl. Then, plug the power adapter into an available power outlet. You should notice the power button lighting up once it's connected. Press the illuminated power button, and the screen will come to life. Set the current time on the screen, and also program the time when you want the light to turn on and off. Next, choose the desired light mode and set the brightness to medium. As the sprouts begin to appear, increase the brightness to the maximum level. That completes the initial setup of the system. I wish you the best of luck with your hydroponics endeavor and all the best in your gardening journey.